So tell me what's on your mind. How can I help? So we've been dating for two years, and um, we're getting close to marriage or engagement. Um, he's Catholic, and I'm converting because I want to be equally yoked with him. You had that show on about men and anger last night or the night before we looked into it. Mm-hmm. And you were saying things about um, usually men have it are really angry in their 30s. Mm-hmm. Well, he has um, undiagnosed, oh, I can't remember it. What it's called now? You're saying I just I don't know. And anyway, he's got, he's undiagnosed with the the um where you can't communicate right. Well, um, Asperger's. Anyway, Asperger's, but very high functioning, <laughs> very high functioning. Yeah, and Asperger's. is that your diagnosis of him? No, no, but I, he doesn't want me to disclose who. Okay. And it was, and Thomas, was, does that fit for you? What's that? That I get angry? I do. No, get no, angry. I don't mean about the but, anger. I mean about Aspergers. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't. I, okay. It's almost like autism or something. Well, it's different than autism. You know, it's it's actually a side effect of or a sign of a, of a you know of a lot of huge brilliance. Are you a really smart guy? Um. Yeah. She thinks so, but I, I He's don't very know. intellectual with a lot of things, but he's... And is he have a lot of... Do you have a lot of hobbies and things that you're really kind of focused on and into and that you do sort of... Um, you get kind of obsessed with? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. and so... Um, you know, at people who have Asperger's are are they're considered on the social learning spectrum, which also has autism on it, but much higher functioning. And basically, the main problem with uh, with people who have Asperger's is that they struggle with reading social cues. Yes, with communication, yeah. with um, empathy, yeah. right? Yep. Feeling feeling what other people are feeling. There, you, you hit the nail on the head, and then I'm an empath. I'm a massage therapist, one of, but I'm also empathetic. Yeah. Um, I suffer from adult ADHD. Got diagnosed at 38 years old, mm-hmm. and I'm very analytical. So it's like, ah, how yeah, us. yeah. So, so when you talk about the anger, what? How does the anger come out? Because that's the reason you called. What happens with the anger? It's more just frustration. Like, he calls me a nag already, and I don't want to be called a nag. <laughs> what are you nagging hear. about? Well, I don't feel like I'm nagging him, but he's lived with his mom most of his life. Now he bought a house next door to his mom, and he lives there, but he doesn't really live there. And about a year and a half into our relationship, he just started staying here. At your house? Uninvited. Okay. Well, what's wrong with you? If he's uninvited, why are you let? I mean, you have an issue with boundaries. My boundaries are terrible when it comes to that because I'm of the flesh. But I don't know. I I don't know. I need help, too, myself. Yeah, I think you guys both, you know, here's the thing is that there's some real communication issues. And... Mm -hmm. Part of it, you know, and you don't have good boundaries on your end. And he, you know, maybe has, especially if you, Thomas, you know, if you do have Asperger's, you probably were an awkward kid. You probably got bullied a lot. You probably struggle a lot with anxiety. It's much easier to stay close to home and not really face the world because facing the world is a lot of stimulation. People who have Asperger's are so finely attuned. See, people say that they, that they don't have empathy but what I honestly think because I know a lot of people like this is that they over empathize that they feel so much that they can't even deal with it so they focus on their trains or the plane schedules or whatever it is that they're focusing on and and, and, right he he does flint napping he creates arrowheads yeah see and then and that, and that's do. how he kind of, that's how he shuts out the world because the world is way too, like most people, their brains, mm-hmm. our brains are taking in 40 billion bits of information every millisecond. But mm-hmm. most people only consciously process about 2,000 of those 40 billion bits. Wow. My theory yeah. is, and this is just my theory, okay, but I know I've worked with a lot of people with Asperger's, is that people with Asperger's are taking in significantly more than the 2,000 of the 40 billion bits. And in wow. order to cope with that, 
because it's way too much. They can't be in crowded places. They yeah. can't be in really noisy places. Well, maybe I have a little bit of that too then because I went to a cheerleading event this weekend and I was about ready to... I right, to well, you, you probably do. You're an empath too. But he, but yeah. you're in touch with your empathy. He has, yes, he has shut his down, but he is probably more empathetic at his core than you are. He just can't handle it because it's way too much.